In China, a record number of recent graduates find themselves in a peculiar situation. Rather than celebrating their academic achievements, many are sharing a different kind of milestone on social media. Photos of themselves lying flat on the ground in their graduation gowns, expressing a sense of dejection and exhaustion. These graduates, having dedicated years to their studies, now face the harsh reality of an extremely challenging job market, with China's youth unemployment rate reaching unprecedented levels. Frustrated by the struggle to secure meaningful employment, some have opted for an alternative, becoming what's known as full-time children. This trend adds a unique pressure to social stability, a concern at the forefront of the government's agenda. The term full-time children has gained traction on Chinese social media platforms, showcasing videos of young adults spending time at home with their parents. In exchange for a salary, they take on household chores like cooking and cleaning. Essentially, they choose to remain at home full-time, relying on their parents for financial support. This phenomenon is commonly referred to as the lie-flat trend in China, representing a resistance to the intense societal pressure to excel in academics and pursue demanding careers. A staggering 11.6 million young Chinese individuals marked a significant academic achievement by graduating from college this year, a figure nearly 12 times greater than two decades ago. However, this surge in graduates brings with it heightened expectations for job income, stability, and overall job satisfaction. As these eager graduates enter the workforce, they encounter a stark reality. They're contending with thousands of peers for a limited number of positions that align with their skills and aspirations. Urban youth unemployment has soared, reaching a record-breaking 21.3% in June. Unlike some other nations, where a surge in youth unemployment during the pandemic saw a rapid decline as restrictions were eased, China's situation is distinct. The country maintained stringent COVID controls for an extended period, keeping its borders closed from 2020 to early 2023. Major cities endured prolonged lockdowns, disrupting production and causing a slowdown in the economy. The consequence? A noticeable downturn in hiring leading to a six-month consecutive rise in China's youth unemployment rate. In a surprising move in August, the government announced an abrupt halt to reporting this data, citing intentions to revisit the methodology. This decision raises questions about the transparency of employment statistics and the broader economic landscape in China. The abrupt suspension of reporting on youth unemployment data in China aligns with a broader pattern of opacity surrounding the true state of the country's economy, according to analysts. To tackle the issue of youth unemployment, local governments have directed state-owned companies to increase their hiring of recent graduates. Additionally, efforts are underway to encourage young people to explore opportunities in blue-collar work, though many college graduates find this unappealing. Surprisingly, despite regulatory crackdowns leading to massive layoffs in some of China's prominent tech firms, a survey by the online recruitment platform Xiaoping revealed that a quarter of this year's graduates aspire to work in the technology sector. This underscores the enduring appeal of the tech industry despite recent challenges. However, unless confidence is restored in these sectors, young college graduates are likely to continue facing challenges in finding the kind of work they desire. The repercussions of having millions of young people out of work extend beyond the individual level, affecting broader aspects of Chinese society. High youth unemployment exacerbates existing structural challenges, such as delaying marriage and family planning due to the lack of stable jobs. This, in turn, worsens China's demographic situation with some expressing concerns about the emergence of the lost generation. These challenges add to the complex task facing Beijing as it strives to boost economic growth and attract foreign investors, particularly in the aftermath of the pandemic. 